like let's face it no man is ever going to bring me the same happiness as my um george foreman toaster maker does so we love a health queen because <laughs> i can because i can do it better i'm coming for you i, I need my <laughs> pims <laughs> everyone welcome back to another weekly vlog so today I start back at university and I'm a mixture of like excited nervous I also have my glasses on I can't really see I swear I do this all the time anyway yeah I start back at university today I got up ridiculously early I'm sort of like known for getting up and getting to places too early in the sense that my job used to be literally like 40 seconds walk from my house and I would leave like half an hour early in case something happened along the way um so I was up at like six o'clock this morning I now have like an hour until I have to leave and that's a good thing because it means I can like compose myself, sort myself out, like get myself prepared for the day ahead, for the year ahead even. Um, but yeah, I thought I would start this vlog here. I'm ready, I'm dressed, I've done my face, I suddenly sort my hair out. My hair's like falling really weirdly today, like it's not falling in its normal place and it's really frustrating me. I'm only in, what am I in? I'm in 9 till 1 so and it's like a 9 to 10 lecture and then an 11 to 1 um oh what's it called demonstration tech block demonstration i'm kind of nervous because second year counts and uh, it's stressing me out and yesterday i was looking at internships and it's all feeling very like very real anyway i'm gonna calm myself down just like scroll through social media get myself ready and have a chilled hour until i have to leave um, and yeah, I'll pick you guys back up when I'm back from uni. But I'm finally second year ready. I'm not prepared for how cold it is outside because I can low-key like feel it in my room how cold it is and I'm probably not appropriately dressed. Anyway, I'm going to go and meet Chloe and Nicole at the business building and then we're going to head over to our first lecture. I'm very nervous this morning <laughs> and try and calm myself because I'm very uh, about starting back at uni today. <laughs> hey guys, quick update for you. Please excuse the state that I look right now. I just had my lunch so I probably have no lipstick left on and I look like an egg because my hair's tied up um anyway i just thought i would pick you up quickly say that uni went well at the moment i'm excited i've got lots of ideas um and things like that i was only in for like half a day i was only into one which was good we'll show you what i got up to um in a bit but i am gonna go and shut my eyes first and then do some work so i'll show you when i do some work i just thought i'd pick you up and say that it was a good morning and i feel ready for second year i mean i'm sure i won't be saying that this time next week but as it stands i'm ready i'm excited and i just need to like get going with it now so i have just got back from i need to say i just got back from the gym i haven't just got back from the gym um i've just got back from the library so i quickly popped back into uni to print some bits off this is what i get like whenever i get a new project brief i have to do loads really quickly otherwise i forget my ideas um but i've just printed off some primary and secondary imagery for my new project got a fresh new sketchbook in front of me and i am um, one of those people who always gets scared to start their sketchbooks like i don't know i always feel like i'm doing it wrong or something especially when it's like fresh and clean and new but i have that in front of me so i'm gonna start that of course i bet you can't guess what i'm watching brooklyn 99 i think i'm on like nearly season four and i started it last week whoops um and also i was quickly going to show you what i did this morning so like i say i'm specializing in knitwear um and we were using there's two types of different knit machines basically and we were using the um flatbed domestic machines because we used the other ones in first year um and i'm i've been lucky enough to already use them at college so when i did my two year foundation year what's it called when i did my two year diploma in fashion textiles at college i had the opportunity to use the knit machines then and i did obviously um so i kind of had a head start in the sense that i knew how to work them um but today we were literally just um experimenting with yarn and changes and tension which is why what you'll see it isn't very fancy because it's literally just playing around for the two that i have you're gonna have to excuse the ends because i do need to tidy up the ends i don't know where else to put them so i've got this one here which is literally just experimenting with two well that's actually two different shades of pink in there you can't really see it 
um, and then that's like a fluffy grey dark grey yarn and then this one has slightly more colours in it again it's got the grey the two different pinks a different pink another grey and sort of like an oatmeal colour um, and we were basically just experimenting with striping and tension today because I think they're obviously people have some people have never used these machines before so they can't throw it into the deep end but yeah I thought I'd show you that I also got myself a free travel mug because they're starting to charge for paper cups and I always always get a cup of tea or a hot chocolate at uni and I'm a bit of a singy bugger and I don't want to have to pay the 25p for a paper paper cup every time so I got myself one of these anyway I'm going to pop you down and get on with some uni work before I head off to the gym so this is how my evening is being spent take your guesses on what my project theme is going to be I'm currently sat doing uni work in exactly the same spot that I was last time I picked you up um, I was meant to be going to the gym but my class got cancelled so I'm not so I'm just sat doing uni work I feel like this week's vlog compared to the past two weeks vlog two weeks vlogs I have no idea if that makes sense or if that's the correct English but you know what I mean where I've literally spent the past two weeks drinking going out for freshers obviously um, and now the reality of uni has like set in my vlogs aren't going to be me out drinking all the time they're still going to be interesting and like good for me to look back on and stuff but basically university is about to take over my life and I'm not going to have time to be going out and drinking every night which is fine like <laughs> I knew it was going to happen which is why I made the most of it I'm still sat in the same spot cracking on with work um I have friends <laughs> um I might pick you back up again tonight I want to finish this and then watch some Netflix I'm thinking I don't know what the time is though, what time is it? It's nearly 7 o'clock so if I can get this done by like 8, chill out, make myself hot chocolate, mm, watch some Netflix. I've currently got Amy's vlog on in the background, um, who is a fellow vlogger from Brighton. If you're not subscribed I'll leave her channel below. And also my dirty dinner dish which I haven't yet washed up, which is kind of gross but what can I say? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to carry on with some uni work and I will speak to you guys in a bit. everyone welcome to thursday thursday what am i saying welcome to tuesday's part of the vlog can you tell i'm tired it's currently nine o'clock i have already started this vlog and then my camera ran out of memory so technically i haven't started this vlog um but i have had a very productive morning i woke up at six got myself ready um i've done some uni work and i've also filmed a video which is why i'm actually properly dressed don't worry i'm gonna put my hoodie on in a minute because i'm not spending the entire day dressed when it's my day off uni that's a no from me but yeah, filmed a video. I'm going to sit down and edit this maybe. Actually, I'm going to pop to the library first because I need to print some stuff off. I'll be editing this. But I thought I would just start today's vlog here. My top is rising. We love that. Um, but yeah, thought I would start today's vlog here, introduce it here. I think I forgot to end it last night. Not entirely sure. I'm going to get myself changed because I currently have my trackies on um, and head into uni for a bit. so it has been a while since I picked you up you're gonna have to excuse what I look like I currently kind of resemble a hot mess um basically I haven't felt great today like mental health wise and I know exactly where that is it's because I haven't left the flat today um I basically sat in and did work this morning obviously I went down to uni to print off some stuff but that doesn't really count so I took myself out to the gym did a, did a good workout which is why I'm still kind of red because I got back from the gym jumped straight in the shower and then popped into town because I was like if I pop into town that'll like take my mind off things and um, went into River Island and got myself a jumper which I definitely didn't need but 
you know, retail therapy when you're not feeling great. The mind of a fashion blogger, I would much rather spend £46 on a cardigan that I probably don't need than £46 on food that's going to keep me alive, but let's not talk about that. Weirdly, I feel better for picking my camera up. I don't know, it's like having someone to talk to. I'm going to Karen with some uni work for a bit. I am trying to find the balance this year of not overdoing it with uni work and still having a social life and things. So I have been doing uni work for most of the day, but I am gonna go and meet Tasha in a bit. I think at about seven, I'm just gonna go around to her flat. I do, but yeah, just gonna go around for a cuppa and a good chat because I haven't seen her in a couple of days. So just thought I'd update you all because I have not picked you up since this morning, I'm pretty sure, since I went down to uni yeah that is what i've been up to today i'm gonna to try and stay positive happy positive mental attitude and all of that crap you know good yeah dinner brooklyn 99 my dinner better taste better than it looks we love a health queen <laughs> hey guys so i have just got back from basically i never went around tasha's in the end she wanted to go to trampolining society she wanted to give trampolining a go basically so i walked her down there because she didn't know where it was and then i came back and i'm just sat watching some youtube i feel like today's vlog has literally just been me doing uni work in my flat i've not taken you out anywhere apart from when i was in river island um i'm gonna finish off a sketchbook page and then i'm just gonna have some me time because i think i need it by me time i just mean catching up with blog surf catching up with stuff in general that I've not really caught up with today because I have been very university orientated today and stressed me out a little bit. I also need to sit down and try and start a cover letter so that's going to be fun which is going to be fun when I literally can't think of anything to talk about about myself. I'm the worst when it comes to talking about myself like other people I'm fine when I'm talking about myself no I literally can't I cannot do it I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's like Clark like how to write a cover letter 101 when you have zero confidence in yourself <laughs> and don't really like a lot about yourself i feel like that's what i need and i'll be fine i'll be laughing anyway i feel like i'm probably going to end this vlog here probably not going to pick you guys back up until the morning i will take you guys along with me and we'll see what we get up to tomorrow good morning guys welcome to what day is it today yesterday got the day wrong it's wednesday today wednesday is part of the vlog i've woken up in a good mood um, I have a four day at uni today. I'm going to try and take you guys along with me for some of it. Obviously I'm in lectures like all day. I have two two hour lectures so I can't get you out then but I'm going to take you along with me. I think I'm going out this evening so yeah I'm really feeling my outfit today. So the cardigan, the cardigan that I bought yesterday in River Island if my camera focuses. I have that just with a bandeau and a pair of you can't see it but they're like pinstriped black trousers and it's really cute and obviously I need to put some shoes on because that's not a look but I don't know if this goes Vans or Converse mm, I don't know but yeah feeling my outfit I need to go and pack my bag and do like some little bits like that to get myself ready for uni I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea in my um, little takeaway mug to take with me to my first lecture I'm starting a new module today so obviously um, I was saying the other day how I have started my first module and today i start my second module because apparently i have lots of modules running alongside each other this year which we love um but yeah i'm gonna go and finish off getting ready <clears throat> what is happening to my voice and head off to uni also any mean girls fans today is wednesday and it's october 3rd if you know you know <laughs> hence why i have my big pink jumper on today because it would be rude not to right i cannot decide what shoe to wear i mean i'm thinking vans Mm. This is what I normally ask Elliot what shoe to wear. Elliot, if you're watching, I need advice. We love an indecisive queen. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm actually vlogging in my kitchen, which I haven't done yet because I'm very scared one of my flatmates is going to come in and see me vlogging and I'm not entirely sure they know that I do this shit. I know that one of them does, but I don't know about the rest. Anyway, just got back from uni. I say just got back. I went around to Tasha's after uni um, and went for a cuppa with Chloe and then we popped to Tesco's quickly. Um, I've had a very full on day at uni, I will catch you up on the antics of uni and the exciting stuff that's actually happening or should be happening beginning of next year. But right now I'm super hungry because I've not eaten since about 11 o'clock this morning and it's nearly 7 o'clock. So I'm going to make myself some pasta and broccoli and I will pick you back up once I've eaten and I'm less hungry because I'm about to flip if I don't get some food in me. <laughs> yum yum yum! This is what I need and hopefully I'll stop being a grouchy bitch now I have food in me. I look like a literal egg, we love that. I'm fed, I'm watered, I'm happy, I've had food, we're all good, I'm not a grouchy bitch anymore. Um, and I'm also sat in my dressing gown, what more could I want? I have just eaten my dinner, I've also, oh yeah, what I wanted to say was, when I was in the kitchen I didn't talk about it, but basically I told you I had a very full on day at uni today, I had lectures from 9 till 4, also I'm really sorry if you can hear it shouting outside. Um, 
I think either the football or rugby DMU team are having their initiation. If you go to university and you know what initiations are, basically all of the second and third years are getting the first years really drunk and doing a lot of drinking games and also shouting. So that's what that is. Anyway, what I was saying was I had a very full on day, um, but in the middle of the day I did have a very exciting meeting. Um, Basically, there is a textiles convention February next year, and it's basically a massive textiles trade show called Premier Vision. Basically, any textile savvy, fashion y people, um, it's a good place for them to go. I've always wanted to go there, so hopefully, I will get chosen. Basically, that's what my meeting was about, and I have just sat and applied for that. I'm actually really proud of myself because I had to um, basically write why I would be good to go, why I want to go, um, what else is it? and what skills I want to develop and stuff like that. Now, normally, oh my God, shut up, drink quietly, rowdy bunch of people. Um, I can't talk actually. Normally when I have to talk about myself, I literally can never do it. I always like text mum and I'm like, mum help, um, because I'm the worst when it comes to talking about myself, mainly because I don't really like a lot about myself, but that's a different story altogether. Um, but I actually sat down, I wrote about why I would be good to go, why they should choose me, and I actually think it sounded pretty good. But fingers crossed I get chosen because I think it would be amazing to go. I would be there for Valentine's Day as well, so being in Paris on Valentine's Day, how cute. Um, but yeah, that's what my, my meeting was about. I also had a, today was basically called Textile Visions, which is all about fabric, fabric testing, etc. The not so creative side of it. And I got given a booklet and it's literally full of equations. And I would turn around and I was like, am I now getting a degree in maths? I touched on it slightly last year, but even more so this year. And it sucks that I'm so shit at maths because I actually really enjoy it. I'm just so crap at it. Um, anyway, I am now going to sit and edit this weekly vlog up until now, up until this point, and I'm then going to do a little bit more uni work. I'm not going to do too much because I'm slightly worried that I'm doing it wrong and I don't actually have a tutorial until Friday, so I'm not going to do too much. And then I'm probably going to sit and watch Come Fly With Me because that is my new obsession. Watched it back in 2010 when it aired, and I've just realised it's on Netflix. And I started watching it last night and forgot how bloody funny it was. So I will probably sit and watch that. I'll probably check in with you guys before I go to sleep. But yeah, thought I'd catch you up on my day. The clip in the kitchen was very brief because I was hungry and desperately needed food. I also really needed a wee, probably TMI, but that's why the clip was really rushed. Anyway, I'm going to head off and do some YouTube work. I have so much to do tomorrow, it's a joke. And it's all starting off at 6.30 a.m. with a gym session. We love that. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Thursday's part of the vlog. It is currently 25 past six on Thursday. Um, it's my day off uni and I'm heading off to the gym. I was up at 5.45 this morning or something ridiculous. I'm pretty sure I'm the only student ever to be up this early on my day off or this early ever, regardless. Um, anyway, I'm heading off there now. I'm very tired, but I've woken up and I've had my cup of tea. Shock. Um, I swear I can't do anything in the morning without a cup of tea. But I'm now heading off there. I'm not really sure. Basically, I think I'm just gonna run and I might do weights. Not entirely sure yet. Hopefully it'll be quiet though, because I hate it when it's busy. Um, and I get really anxious. We love that. We love an anxious queen. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna get off there. It's so weird being out this early on campus. Like, there's no one about. Like it's completely dead. It's also pitch black. I'm not a fan of the dark mornings. Like, mm, do you mind? Now that I'm waking up and it's dark, it makes getting out of bed so much harder. Anyway, I'm gonna pop you down because my arm's aching and I will pick you up when I'm probably a red sweatiness on my way back from the gym. gym fuel i'm so excited to eat this because i'm absolutely starving Hey guys, 
guys, so I am finally ready. Um, it's I think it's like nearly nine o'clock. I'm meant to be meeting Tash, but turns out she was out last night and I'm pretty sure she's still asleep now. So I'm just gonna head into town on my own because I've got stuff to do anyway. I've had a productive morning, obviously been to the gym and stuff. I have sorted out a, basically I'm doing placement year next year. Fingers crossed I'm doing placement year next year if I get selected. Um, and I've just booked in to have my CV looked at and stuff tomorrow. So that's exciting, but yeah gonna head off into town before I then meet Chloe at uni I feel like my outfit today right I have the pink cardigan on again can you tell I'm obsessed but like my top half is so girly and then you look down and I have my Doc Martens on shock of course I have my Doc Martens on what's new anyway gonna pack a bag and gonna go and get myself some shampoo because that's what I need from town we love a hell queen shock you're propped up in your normal place and I'm sat in my flat what is new anyway it has been a long time since I picked you guys up um i don't really know what i've done i've had a very productive day like it's been really productive i've been into uni i've been into town had a good workout at the gym i hit 10,000 steps before 10 o'clock today i'm currently on 18,000 steps and it's like two o'clock um chloe came around for a bit we were procrastinating and eating sweets we went down to tesco's because i need to get some bleach um to paint with just start shooting things um and we also got some sweets and we literally just sat here and we were trying to like was so childish like throw sweets into my mouth it didn't work i'll insert a boomerang here because the boomerang makes for quite good watching um anyway she has just left me um also while she was here i got some exciting news basically my university so i'm at demont university um and obviously like i vlog my university experience how i'm getting on etc and the university have got in touch with me and they want me to be on their social media and vlogging team which is really really mega exciting because I'm going to now be creating content for not only my channel but also for Demont for University's channel so I don't know if anyone here like is a viewer from Leicester or from Demont for I'm sure you'll be subscribed to them or from their Facebook page Instagram you'll be seeing my face crop up I'm sure um, which was really exciting. I also just texted my dad and he has just informed me that I have hit 100,000 views on my tiny little YouTube channel and I know that doesn't sound like a lot to a lot of people, like people get more than that on one video, I'm well aware of that. Um, but for someone like me who started their channel up two months ago or restarted it up two months ago, um, it's a big deal and I'm very, very proud of myself and I'm more proud of myself for sticking with it and just doing something that I enjoy. Um, so that's been my exciting news for this afternoon. Um, I've had a very chilled out couple of hours, we just had a fire drill, we thought the whole building was going to burn down but it turns out it was just a test thing, but they full on made us like go out onto the road, like onto the road outside of my flat as if it was a real fire, which they didn't do last time. Um, anyway, that has been my afternoon, I'm going to crack on with some uni work but I just wanted to switch you on to let you know that I will now be vlogging for Demotha as well as for my channel. Um, and that I have hit a milestone on my YouTube channel which I'm very happy about and also I'm very 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 close to 4,000 watch hours which is what I need to be monetized which again is really exciting so hopefully that will happen within the next week and yeah all my hard work is slowly paying off which is so nice to see like when you work hard at something and you finally get somewhere with it it's just like not a relief but like it makes your hard work seem worthwhile even though in my eyes it's worthwhile anyway because it's always something for me to look back on yeah it's just nice anyway i'm gonna crack on with some more uni work i'm so tired oh my god good morning guys welcome to friday's part of the vlog my days have been all over the place this week um i completely forgot to end the vlog last night i basically went around to my friend's house and we had a pizza and wine night and it was just what i needed um, and I didn't take my camera with me because basically it was with Tash and M. obviously you've seen Tash from the vlogs um, and I was kind of like the third person in their flat last year but there's also M, who Tash lived with last year who we hadn't seen much since we've been back but that's why I forgot to end the vlog and I came back and just crashed out like as soon as my head hit the pillow I was a goner I've got a busy day ahead I need to wake myself up make myself a cup of tea um, but I'm gonna do my face and I'll pick you guys back up once I'm like more ready and I've hopefully woken up a little bit because I cannot go through the rest of the day feeling like actual death. <laughs> hey guys, so it's been a while since I picked you up. Oh, I've just got back from my CV like placement meeting thing. It actually went really well. So I basically got like a CV coordinator that I'm now going to whenever I need like advice on my CV, like things like that and placement. Like I said, hopefully doing placement next year, providing I can get it. 
Um, and she was really lovely, really helpful, and I feel a bit more like confident and not relaxed, but like just a bit more like confident on the whole thing. So that was good. I was really worried that my CV was going to get ripped to absolute bits, but it didn't, which is a positive. It means I'm heading in the right direction. Um, but yeah, I've had a bit of a chilled out morning. Normally I've done loads of stuff by now, but I literally I've got up, got myself ready, had a cuppa, and went to my meeting. Um, which is weird for me because normally by now I've completed every task I need to do ever um, but it is now 10 o'clock I'm going to sit and munch on my apple and then I need to write out my project proposal exciting stuff I know and then I'm going to edit my CV because I feel like if I can get it done now it means I can book another appointment next week and get it looked at again and then I can start applying which is exciting um, but yeah, also another really exciting thing that happened, which I forgot to say yesterday, but basically I've had quite a well-known company get in touch, like clothing company, get in touch with me wanting to work with me on like a blog post and my Instagram, which is amazing. I'm really happy about that. Like, mm, I got the email yesterday and I was like, yes, I'm going to do some research first and make sure like it's right for me and everything. Um, but yeah, I thought I would catch you up on where I'm at in the day at the moment. I need to go and write my project proposal and get some stuff done before I have uni. Uni's not until one though, so I've got a while. Oh my God, guys, I have to pick you up really quickly before I do anything. Oh, I've just had the most exciting phone call with a management company. Now, obviously I run all my socials. I'm gonna be really quick because I've got so much work to do. Um, but I've just had a long phone call with a management company who got in touch with me at the beginning of the week, wanted to do my research before I got in touch with them, like replied back to them. I've done my research, they sound like a brilliant management and I've just had a call with um, Jamie, who's like the head of management, who's wanting to like manage me. And oh, I just can't, like, I'm so happy that someone's actually got in touch with me, wants to manage me, like, it's mind boggling for someone who started this off so small and in my eyes I still am quite small in terms of like creators that I watch like people like Saffron Barker, Anastasia, uh, Molly Thompson, Eve Bennett, all of that like all of the typical YouTubers that I watch they're all massive and have management and I was like I'm not big enough to have management I've just had a call to sort out my management like what the frick I literally can't this week has been crazy I've got my mum texting me she's like what is going on Hannah I don't even know I'm literally today I have the lunch of a five-year-old and I've decided that my George Foreman toasty maker is the only man that I ever need in my life like let's face it no man is ever gonna bring me the same happiness as my um, George Foreman toasty maker does so oh my god I look like a state I look an actual state <laughs> I'm gonna sit sit down quickly it has been such a rushed day I ha I took you out with me like took my camera out um, like with the full intentions to vlog out in public today and I have been so jam-packed busy I've just not had the time and um, the last time I picked you up was when I was talking about like my new uh, management opportunity anyway after that I had at uni I've completely changed my project concept so I came back had a bit of a cry stressed myself out <laughs> shock anyone who like knows me will just know that it's such a me thing to do um, and then I literally came in and went straight back out to the blog society so basically at DMU I am part of student vloggers which is a DMU thing university thing and then I'm also part of a society which is like a separate thing um, a blogging society and we had our first meetup so we went to the pub got some food which is very nice I'll insert some footage here because I did have the best sex on the beach cocktail and the best fish finger sandwich the two things that are like the way to my heart and yeah it was really lovely to meet everyone um, and everyone who will be taking part we've got some exciting things coming up I'm not gonna say them just yet but watch out in these vlogs and also the DMU blog society youtube channel which i will of course link below because i'll be featuring on there um but i'll also incorporate it into these vlogs as well so you don't miss out um but yeah it has been such a full-on day and i'm so ready to crash out i was up at six o'clock i've been running around all day i really haven't i really haven't picked you guys up at all today and i'm so annoyed because i was like i'm gonna take you guys out with me like i'm gonna get you to meet everyone who i'm like blogging and vlogging with because obviously they're all they all have the same interests as me so i'm completely fine with getting my camera out in front of them um but I just didn't have the time like I was chatting away I've just been busy all day and this is the first I'm not even joking when I say this is the first time I've sat down by myself since I last picked you up um so yeah it's been a very full-on day and I think from now on my days are just going to be like rammed and I'm going to get to the end of the day and probably be in tears because 
anyone who knows me will know that if I'm overtired, I will just cry. I was sat in my lecture earlier and I came out and I said to Chloe, I was like, Chloe, I'm going to cry just because I was so tired. Um, and I'm also chatting a lot of shit right now because I'm tired and I'm putting off taking off my makeup. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I'll probably pick you up before I go to bed because I have a feeling tonight might be a late one. It's currently like 8 o'clock and I want to get started on my new project. Go and clean my face. I say let's, like you're going to help me clean my face. Um, and oh, I've got hiccups. <laughs> you joking? Okay, now I've got hiccups, so I'm going to have to go and try and get rid of these as well. Organised student chaos going on right here. Why can't I just write things like a normal person? I've got like 50 different post-it notes here. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday. Oh, my goodness, right. So last night, obviously, I live in halls, like student accommodation. And I was sound asleep. I was on FaceTime to one of my friends. Um, and we both fell asleep on FaceTime together. I was out like a light. And I can remember, like, perfectly the dream that I was having. And all of a sudden, the fire alarm, like, in my accommodation starts going off. Basically, I'm absolutely petrified of loud noises. Like, that's my phobia. Um and alarms are obviously like included in that um so i jumped out of my freaking skin like never seen me move so fast and i was like is this a drill like they wouldn't do a drill at 1 30 in the morning um so i went and knocked on my flatmate's room like my um yeah when i knocked on my flatmate's room and i was like are we going out she's like yeah we've got to go out um and then my flatmates from like opposite they were like oh yeah we're all going so i was like okay this is real then um i don't actually know what it was it was something in my block from the floor above someone has set the fire alarm off by cooking something but i could smell burning um i think the alarms are quite sensitive here because we have had so many fire drills um anyway me and my flat all went downstairs there's me obviously like most people are in their pajamas but wild friday night for me i was stood there in my dressing gown hood up grumpy af and i had forgot my slippers they were all right next to my bed and i somehow managed to forget them so i'm standing out in the rain in the cold in a dressing gown an oversized top and no nothing on my feet what am i like honestly anyway so that happened at 1 30 i'm still annoyed that it woke me up because i was having a really good dream i can remember i was out with my friends from back home and we were drinking cocktails what more could i want um so that happened but yeah, I was going to pick my camera up, but my hands were like shaking, where, obviously where I hate loud noises and it had caught me off guard. I came up and I was still shaking. I was like a little leaf. I was like, oh my goodness, I just need to go back to bed. But I literally couldn't get back to sleep. So thanks for that, whoever set the alarm off. Anyway, I have woke, just woke up. Um, I'm going to chuck some clothes on and pop down to Lidl to get my weekly shop. I actually have a list this week because I seem to go every week without a list, come back with no food and then starve for the rest of the week. Um, so I'm going to go and get that and then pop to the gym and just like that i finally have a full fridge a full fridge a full shelf of food which low-key i have not had a full shelf of food in the entire three weeks that i've been here <laughs> hitting up the gym i'm very tired i'm probably gonna fall asleep while at my spin class we love that hello everyone it has been a very long time since i picked you up i literally have no idea where the day has gone today basically this afternoon i'm going to cheerleading trials or not trials cheerleading taster session and um, i think i may have mentioned this before um but obviously the university has a crap ton of societies and i wanted to join the cheer one and um, so i'm going to like a taste session today to see if i enjoy it and um, which should be really exciting i've never done cheer before i've done dance i did dance for about 10 years um, but I've never tried cheer before so that should be exciting. I'm kind of nervous because I don't really know what to expect and I've not danced in about two years I want to say so I've literally lost all flexibility um, and probably have two left feet so it could be an interesting afternoon but I'm going to meet Tash because she's going to come along at two um, and we're going to go to cheerleading trials. <laughs> we're going out tonight shock, shock. At that close time. here i'm going to go and let her in yeah okay we'll close here you as you can see camera, as you can <laughs> i've dyed my hair since last time you've seen me um but i'm not taking that down okay so yeah basically we're going out tonight it's gonna be me han chloe i think em's coming and then a couple guys that we met um, but yeah, obviously, Han's not done an intro into this bit, so this is her intro. I thought I would do it for her. Um, 
But yeah, stay tuned to watch us get ready, make an absolute tit of ourselves dancing. Um, friend that's a knobhead just broke my trousers he's and broken I, the zip <laughs> he tried to undo it with his teeth and he's fucking broken them because i now have to give her my trousers to wear i turned around one minute her ass was in her trousers <laughs> and the next minute her bum was literally out even, and i'm not even i can't even put it. that in <laughs> his accommodation smells really weird <laughs> i don't like it push the button and let me, me know. know um hannah's very drunk <laughs> I'm just holy at the moment. No, <laughs> Natasha's. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, you're drinking. I, I need my pims. <laughs> There's arches in your flat. Oh my god, lemonade. Update: Natasha is now in a pair of my trousers, my stripy trousers. Get your legs out. <laughs> that are mine because she can't wear her own because someone ripped hers. I, I don't know who it was. Without who's, lack of trying. Who's behind us? I'm coming for you. Hey guys, so it is currently the morning after the night before. Um, I'm very tired, obviously, um, as expected. But I just thought that I would end this weekly vlog here. I know this weekly vlog probably hasn't been as interesting as the other ones because I have been at uni and I've been like busy in that sense. Um, but this week, like this coming week I do have some exciting things planned so the vlogs will get more interesting again it's just like the first this was the first week settling in properly to university um, and yeah and getting going with things which is why it's been a bit mishmashed all over the place um, I have no idea of the footage that I got last night but basically we had a bit of an impromptu night out um, and I think the clips went from me going to cheer trials to then me going out within like like two clips of each other um, so that's what that was um, but yeah, just thought I would end the vlog here and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and I will see you all in next week's vlog, which I promise you will definitely be more interesting than this week's vlog.